In 2008, the French government commissioned a new school on embassy land in Damascus. They wanted the building to be cheap to run, to keep fees low for the parents. Architects Atelier Lyon and engineers Transola took the bold step of cutting out one of the main running costs, air conditioning. They turned instead to the ancient cooling method of wind-assisted solar chimneys. It's a paradox because you use the heat of the sun to provide fresh air. It's a very simple technique, but with sophisticated calculations to calculate the size of the chimney or to be sure that it will be okay. It's why we make, at the beginning of the construction, we make a prototype classroom to verify that the calculations were good. The sun heats the air within the chimneys. As this hot air escapes into the atmosphere, cooler air flows up to replace it, lowering the temperatures within the buildings below. We are able to make a difference of 8 degrees between the uh, heat outside and the temperature inside. With natural ventilation, what is very important is to um, educate the people, to know how they, can, they use it, because you must be active, you know, in this. You must open the window, open the grill, close the window, and it's not the same way for each season, you know, in spring and winter. There were some teachers and some children who were very interesting by this way and some of them were thinking that it was not possible to have no air conditioning in a school. It was probably the, thing which, the challenge which was the most difficult. The use of solar chimneys influenced the design of the school as a whole. The height and shape of the buildings and the thickness of their walls were all dictated by the system. While the open spaces between the buildings were designed to cool the air sucked in by the solar chimneys through contact with vegetation and shade provided by retractable awnings. Covering an area of some 5,600 square meters, the school consists of two rows of classrooms separated by a playground. The canteen, administration buildings and gymnasium are clustered along the eastern edge of the site. Altogether, the school has some 900 pupils between kindergarten and high school age.